2001, I became sick and I was in Seneca, so I stopped high school. So 2002, I, I wanted to struggle to get my high school diploma. So that's when I moved out. So I was living in Hasbrook and hanging around with these drug dealers after school. I knew they said drugs, they gangsters, but I didn't mind at the time because I was just living. I was standing there talking to them, cracking jokes, and they selling their drugs, making money. But into my instant, I never want to sell drugs, so it's not my thing. I will go, I will, I will hang out with them. I see the drug, the crackheads are coming to buy the crack and shit, but I won't, I won't say none. I just see them chopping, and I'm just watching them. They've been doing great, but I want to know how they're gonna act for the second scene. Then. If they if they do the, the where I where everyone everyone um, split it, you remember when everyone went to their homes, then I know it, I have to find my way walking out. Then the police came. So ah, we talk about girls, cars, sports. You know, talk about the neighborhood how police are treating us. Walking. So every time they see police walking, they know they're coming in. So they have to dip. So after we saw them coming, they know that they're coming. They have to say fireball. So as soon as they say fireball, everybody will be. That time I was so naive that I couldn't walk this way because my house was on this side. I could just walk this way and go home. But I was just standing hiding in the neighborhood. But I saw them coming. Then I was like, oh God. Then they already saw me, so I cannot run this one. They asked me, what's your name? Then I told them, oh, my name is Daniel. What are you doing here? And I'm like, I'm just, I'm just walking through. I said, I'm walking through. So where do you live? I'm saying, I'm walking through. I'm going home. Where's home? Say over there. Then he, the lady said, search him. Then they start searching me. They want to ask all these questions. You have tattoos? That time I have few tattoos. What does that say? I say, D-boy. What does a D boy mean? Then I say, oh, determined boy. You should call yourself Scarface because you have a scar in your face. So I started laughing. I, I thought it was a joke, but it sounds cool too because I have a scar in my face. So I was like, ooh, that's a cool thing. I could use it for my nickname. He put a pool. He said, have you hit somebody with this? I'm like, no. Then he said, what do you have in your pocket for? I'm like, nothing. It's just my, it's just my own thing. It's just for my own thing. He said, what is that own thing? I'm like, I just use it for my own thing. I didn't want to explain myself to him, so I just cut him off. And they said I said it's a dangerous weapon. So they charged me and they brought me to 31 Division. And they said, um, I have to I have to tell where the drugs and then where the guns are and then they will let me go. It's like how can I, why am I gonna rat my people, you know? So they just took me to jail for like two months. Two weeks. So, yeah. One month, two weeks. No, one month, two weeks. One? Yeah, one, one, one? Yeah, six weeks is how much. Six weeks? Yeah, I was in East Detention. If you do the crime, you have to do the time. But only thing that I can I expect from the police, the people that have mental problems, they should consider them. Because sometimes they don't know what they're doing. Like a lot of things, a lot of times I will, I will be on the bus and I forgot where I'm going. You know? Till I get off the bus. As soon as I get off the bus, I remember where I'm going. Then I need to go back. They won't take me, and then I have to fight with them. I had a pool ball in my pocket. The police couldn't ask me what I was doing with it, but they put me in jail. Because I was sick. You don't know what I'm doing with it. I play with it in my hand. I do this all the time so I don't get bored or get nervous. You know, but they didn't understand me. If people in authority will have patience with people, not only even the people in the, in the mental problem, but minority, to just be patient. And we are one people. We all live in the one earth, you know. So just be patient with people and everything will be fine. Just because they have authority doesn't mean you're less than me or I'm less than you. Yeah. Help TVO create a better world through the power of learning. Visit TVO.org and make a tax-deductible donation today.